Hey Pisces friends, welcome to your Tarot Readings by Roxby. So I'm going to do your weekly general reading like always, but I'm also going to do a love reading for you guys. One for singles, one for couples. I figured that would be fun this week. This will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. I hope you're all doing well. Pisces, please keep in mind it is a general reading. If it doesn't resonate for you, please watch your other signs. And those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, the Instant Go app. If you'd like a quick question answered, links to everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. And please be sure to subscribe and also click the bell next to the subscribe so that you get notified when I post your readings here, Pisces, and also go live here as well. Pisces friends, hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you for being here. I'm using the ghost tarot for you guys. Pisces. Your essential issue is the Page of Pentacles reversed. Foundation is the Seven of Cups reversed. Recent past, the Queen of Swords. With that moon in the background. Truth, clarity, she is all about the truth. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy there. That could be you if you have air in your chart. Oh, Pisces, the Ten of Swords. Interesting, and the Four of Wands. So, with the Page of Pentacles, I feel like there's a need for research to figure out what you're doing. Trying to figure out a game plan. You're definitely no longer confused. And it's definitely about being clear with what you want. What it is that you know. Who you want to know. Where you want to go. Things like that. And, you know, you could have this energy in your chart. You know, the Queen of Swords upright, you know, determined, very focused, logical, all about the truth. You know, she could be a lawyer. But, uh, you know, Libra Gemini Aquarius. But with the Seven of Cups, it really is seeing things as they really are. I really do love this. I really do. You know, that clarity is just, you know, when we put this upright, is really just, you know, really coming through for you. I love that. But, all right, if you felt betrayed to, or, you know, or lied to, you know, betrayed or an air sign felt 
that way by you. Whatever it might be, the truth is definitely coming out. I mean, that's very clear here. It could also be that someone needs to admit the truth. Like you can't hide anymore. Like no more games. Or maybe they need to say something. It's not, it's not an apology. I don't feel like it is, but I do feel like you are being helped. You know, I mean, you have a sword right through your knife, right through your heart here. So this was heavy. You know, notice all the smoke here too. Reversed. And when I look at this card, I just feel like really... You're being divinely guided. Like this is spirit right here, like helping you get over this. But it's definitely done moving into next week. Toward the end of the week, definitely. Looks really good. The Queen of Wands and the Four of Wands. You know, I'm feeling right now that if this is just platonic, let's say a family member, a friend, an ex-lover, whatever, you definitely have the truth coming out. It could even be about your marriage, someone else's marriage. Especially if they're an air sign female. You know, if this was a friend or an, or an ex-friend, I would definitely say this person is an ex-friend with the Ten of Swords. Like they absolutely don't want anything to do with you. You know, it could be even vice versa. But honestly... It does feel like the truth has already come out here, or it will be very shortly. You need your stability in your life still, especially on the home front. It doesn't necessarily always have to be a marriage with the Four of Wands. Some of you definitely could be moving to a new home. I'm going to just clarify it. You could be signing on the dotted line. But I do feel like some of you are just... I don't know, like... Trying to gain your stability. Let's see. I'm going, I'm going to go right to the Four of Wands. Okay, I'm just going to take them. Three of them are flipped up here. All right, we have the Four of Pentacles, the Devil. Let me put them this way. And the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Sign of Capricorn. This is all about security, stability. stability. Some of you are saving your money. Unfortunately, things aren't going your way right now. And I really do feel like you need to focus on learning what it is that you need to learn. Or expanding your horizons at work. Or getting a new job. I think with the Page of Pentacles, you need a new job. All right, I'm gonna let's um let's look at the Ten of Swords with the Queen of Swords. 
You know, this person is absolutely cutting someone out. That that's pretty that's pretty straight up here. It really does look like that. Let's see though. Remember, we're doing the Queen and the Ten. Eight of Wands, reversed. And the Three of Wands, reversed. Communication is over. If you're dealing with an air sign female, because I I'm sorry, Pisces, there's just no chance in hell of ever reviving this. I feel like Whoever I'm meant to connect with, with this reading, with the majority, are dealing with job losses, others of you dealing with lies coming out, confusion, is definitely being becoming clearer. This air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, is putting out the truth not wanting communication from you or you you them uh, there just seems to be no forgiveness with the 10 of swords so if you're if you, not this week anyway if you're trying to connect with them this week that they're probably just either done or not ready Let's see the Seven of Cups. Okay, this one flipped up. Whoa. Let me see. Okay, that's the Empress reversed. Okay, interesting. Strength. Sorry. Sign of Leo. Aries Taurus. And the full Aries. I mean, this is definitely your female energy with the Empress. Very strong Aries and Leo female coming through with someone. With someone that's going to enlighten the air sign. Or the air sign enlightening the fire sign female. And it could be regarding someone's education. Uh, maybe a teacher that you don't like. Whether it's you or them. The bottom line here is there's no communication this week. But my, my feeling on this entire reading is that someone definitely cut someone out, whether you did this or they did. And they ended it. That's it. If it didn't resonate, please watch your other signs. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, but we're going to look at your love lives. Crystal visions. We're going to start with singles. You know, Singles, you know, if you don't have anyone, absolutely not dating anyone or involved with anything. With anything. Oh, gosh. You know what I mean. <laughs> Singles. Single Pisces. October 15th to 21st.
I, okay, I feel like I'm going to sneeze, but I guess not. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Okay, Page of Wands reversed. Remember, singles. Four of Swords. Five of Wands. And I'm also going to get you a Halloween Oracle card. And we're going to use this as the overall energy for you guys. And it's tis the season, you know? These are pretty amazing, though, too. Pisces. Well, that flipped right up and out of my right out. Okay, joy. Be rejoicing in the presence. Look at all that warmth and security and stability coming in. Okay. Keeping quiet. We're not we're not doing anything. We're not saying anything. Or you're not you're just not going out and doing stuff. You're just taking a break. You're resting. You could be fighting with the fire sign. Aries Leo Sag. And you just want to break, you know, from it. You must be fighting with your with your partner, your spouse. You're definitely dealing with an Aries Leo Sag. And you're you're just definitely not on speaking terms with this person. There's just no communication because you guys are fighting. And even with this card, you know, you, you need to have fun. You know, you know, bring the passion back. You know, maybe try not to take everything so personal. And others of you, you know, if you're not dating, I really feel like it's because you're just, you're just, you're not motivated right now. You're not inspired. You just don't want, you just don't want to. You're tired. You feel like you need a break. You don't want to deal, you know, with probably, you know, the yahoos, the, the jerks that are around you. You just need a break. There's nothing wrong with that. Beautiful. Let's look at couples. Married, in a committed partnership, if you're in between, you know, you definitely want to watch both. Couples, couples, Pisces. Sign of Cancer. The Magician reversed. What are you guys? My seventh sign. He's been out a couple times. Reversed. Upright. And the Fool. Again. So you have Aries, Cancer, Virgo. Oh, let me get you our full card. There's definitely distance, traveling, moving forward. You know, this is the ultimate victory and success card. Getting control over your love life. In the past, someone was definitely manipulating someone. And it could have been someone that was at a distance. Gemini, Virgo, Aries. You know, this is definitely not taking a leap of faith. Not taking a risk. With your partner or spouse. 
really wonder why. And we'll get to that. But I really gotta see why we're not. This card wants to come out. Are you kidding me? <laughs> the unknown card, which is because you don't know, I think you, you don't, that's what it is. You don't know what the outcome is going to be. So you're a little bit scared about moving forward or moving on. I am going to get another one there. Okay, definitely this one. The Knight of Cups reversed. Which is usually someone from the past. This could be someone from at a distance. There's definitely someone you know. This person is could even be trying to manipulate you out of a current relationship or partnership, but you're not doing it. You're not taking a leap of faith with them. Again, Cancer, Gemini, Virgo, or an Aries. And you know, I feel like with this, It's like you need, you definitely need, it's infinite possibilities. I, you know, I, I kind of feel like it's like the wheel of fortune in a sense. Like you need to allow change to happen. You know, you might need to move forward and see if your partner or spouse will follow. Like that feels very important. Let me actually grab another card there. Let me move these over a few. I'm sorry. Interesting reading, Pisces. Okay, wow, the Queen of Swords flipped up. That's you. If you're female, you're going to be in control. You're going to cut out the bullshit. You're tired of, you're just tired of repeating the past. You're tired of players coming in, telling you that they love you and they don't. You're also tired of not trusting. Oh, you're, you guys are definitely dealing with a water sign. A cancer. Cancer comes through the absolute strongest here. Big time. Big time. I think you're done with a cancer. If you're dealing with a cancer, Pisces. Okay, possibly a, possibly a Virgo, Gemini, but... We'll see. Let me know. Infinite possibilities, though. Anything is possible, my friends. Anything is possible. All right, guys. Absolutely love you guys. Not a bad reading. Not at all. If it didn't resonate, please watch your other signs. But I will see you guys back here very, very soon. Take care, guys.